So today I would like to describe a little bit about the Global PNH Patient Registry. This is being sponsored by the AAMDS International Foundation in conjunction with the National Organization of Rare Diseases or NORD. So the purpose of this is to collect data for patients around the world, to share information about PNH that will fill current and future gaps in research. And this enables us to share our data across different institutions and will hopefully empower and unite the PNH community through shared knowledge and also collect data on demographics and quality of life and hopefully increase knowledge and understanding the progression of the disease. So this is a natural history study that consists of electronic surveys and it will hopefully capture information about patient experience and disease progression. And it is the patients or their caregivers or guardians that can enter information from anywhere in the world. And this makes it easy to contribute. The data is made anonymous and is stored securely within the registry. Patients will have access to the collected data. The participation will be ongoing with periodic updates and new surveys added. And the uh, foundation may share the de-identified data with individuals or institutions that are conducting clinical research uh, or clinical trials. So now I'd like to turn it back to Eileen, who will talk about why this is important. Before I do that, I should say uh, that if you go to the pnh.imrare.org uh, website, you will get the first slide that we showed. This is, this is the screen that you will come to. Thank you, Eileen. So you might ask, why should I participate in the PNH registry? Well, many of you may have participated in a registry following the clinical trial that you participated in, but not every patient with PNH is part of a clinical trial. And so we need long-term longitudinal data to see how patients are doing. And the PNH registry sponsored by AAMDS is devoid of any commercial uh, bias. Uh, it is strictly to collect data on a variety of different topics. And um, again, you don't have to be part of a clinical trial, whether or not you were or are is helpful information to know, but it's not required for participation in this registry. Also, we need to be able to use this information as many of the extension studies have stopped and there's no further way to collect data. So you can really make a difference uh, in helping us to obtain more information about your disease and that may affect how we approach the disease later on. Dr. Shinnok? Yeah, thank you. Um, this is uh, um, registry is especially important for patients uh, who have a rare disease and also in children where the disease is rarer, as I discussed earlier. It's important to recognize that this is a natural history study. So the idea is to comprehensively collect as much information as possible and go forward with it. And the information is collected directly from the patients or carers. So hence it actually gives understanding of several other variables that we may not be able to collect during a routine clinic appointment. It's also important to note that uh, these, some of these diseases progress over time and hence to some of the clinical trials are short-lived or for short duration, we may be able to learn what may be happening on these patients many months or years even after the diagnosis. It's also important to recognize that this is an international registry, so hence we will be able to collect information on a several number of uh, pediatric patients with PNH, so not just from one country, so hence it helps to increase the number, but also brings in the value of have children or young adults from different parts of the world, different ethnicity and racial groups. And as mentioned earlier, any legally authorized representative, so it could be a parent or grandparent, or caregiver or a guardian can actually, whoever has a legal authority uh, can grant consent and fill in the data. So it doesn't have to be the patient or, or the study participant, especially if they're very young. 
and that especially important to be able to collect um, enough data as we go forward. Um, and for all these reasons, we all strongly recommend to be able to be part of this registry as it's only going to help not only the investigators, more, but more importantly, um, the patients and their family members. Thank you.